and it's smooth the 98.1 love music love life you are welcome to smooth health on the drive right here on the smooth drive my name is Judith a TV I'm Karen Baker absolutely and it's a smooth health on the drive sponsored and brought to you by Evercare Hospital and of course today we have a very special guest joining us and I'll let Kayode do the all the introductions yes we do have a very special guest like Judith mentioned we have Dr. Inkiru Jibwaku uh, she's a physiotherapist and today we'll be talking about the rising incidences of back and neck pain post lockdown now to be a part of our conversation feel free to reach out to us on whatsapp 0809 is where you can send your messages to mm. also call the studio lines we're giving vouchers to the first three callers uh call the number 0144 to be a part of the conversation. Absolutely. Now, Dr. Inkuru Jubuaku is a chartered uh, physiotherapist with degrees of, from the University of Nigeria and the Cardiff University Wales with over 20 years of experience across all the core specialties of physiotherapy. She has worked in a variety of acute care hospitals uh, settings in both Nigeria and the UK and has been a therapy manager for over six years. Uh, Dr. Nkiru develops her skills uh, for the, through continuing education courses ranging from bow baths uh, techniques to neurodevelopment developmental uh, therapy and she is uh, passionate about the role of commu uh, role communication and injury education uh, that takes in working with uh, patients and she has worked as a clinical educator teaching physiotherapy uh, students in clinical settings and Dr. Nkiru is particularly interested in geriatric uh, physiotherapy and is presently studying for an MSc uh, in health, yeah. aging, and rehabilitation <coughs> at the Western Norway University of Applied Sciences. Uh, when she's not working, she pretty much enjoys her time listening to us. So, without further ado, <laughs> you must be aware that Dr. Inkiru is the best person uh, to be talking to about physiotherapy and in this case the rising incidences of back and neck pain uh, post lockdown and of course we're now in this new normal so she's yeah. the best person to talk to about this so awesome. doctor, you're Good welcome to have you here doctor Thank you. Thank you so much. And wonderful Eddie. resume, Thank by you. the way. Thank you. Wonderful resume. Yeah. Okay, so let's just dive right into it, shall we? Yes. Uh, so let's ask the question, who is a physiotherapist? And also, what are some of the services that you offer at uh, Evercare Hospital? Um, thank you. So, in answering the question, who a physiotherapist is, I'll um, start up, or I'll answer it by creating a scenario. So, ideally, anyone who has had an illness, especially a long protracted, protracted one, mm. an injury, pain, or disability that impacts their ability to move or carry out their daily um, activities or daily tasks needs to see a physiotherapist. And the reason for this is to help to rehabilitate them and get them back on their feet through personalized exercises and use of our different physiotherapy modalities, education, and advice. And at Evercare Hospital, we have set up a well-equipped um, rehabilitation gym and we have various treatment rooms and different physiotherapy equipment um, which we use to help the patients become pain-free and help patient or people to become as independent as possible. Hmm. All right. Very Thank nice. you very much for that. So, Doctor, yes, there's sir. a recent study, right, that describes low back pain as a significant cause of years lived with disability worldwide and a challenge uh, to international health systems. But really and oh and by the way there's a colleague yesterday who went into the kitchen where having a small lunch at the kitchenette and he walked in and he bent over to get water from uh the dispenser and he gets back up he's like oh my goodness my back is aching me and i said oh it could be your mattress right but again this is just me and my presumptions because i'm very I, w I overthink everything but what are the causes of back and neck pain um, thank you, Juliet. So I'll go back to what you, the first part of the question, mm. which is absolutely correct. So this year, 2021, was declared by the International um, Association of the Study of Pain. It's a worldwide association and it's been declared as the global year about low back pain. And you will be interested to know that since 1990, low back pain has been the leading cause of years lived with disability worldwide. Wow. And as of 2017, um, about half a billion people worldwide have low back pain. And so there are various um, causes of low back pain, but most of them are mechanical. Mm -hmm. So I'll try to break down the spine. Um, 
the, it's made up of components, different components, and um, that includes the vertebra, which is the bone, and then you've got the rubbery part in between the vertebrae, which mm. you might have had the disc. Um, someone has got a disc, a disc slip, so that is the intervertebral disc. And then you've got the tough band of ligaments that holds that together and mm. the tendons that attach the muscles. So once there's a problem with that component of the back, then you start to have problems. And different things that could cause it is age. We're all aging. So um, as the outer body is degenerating, the inner body is degenerating too. Now, various other things that are modifiable includes fitness level. And I refer to the weekend warriors. So people that sit the whole day and mm. then at weekend, they jump out and want to do everything. They have a really high incidence of low back pain because the muscles are not conditioned for the exercises they start to do over the weekend Ooh. and thereby they cause themselves injuries by doing that and another, another interesting one is um, excess weight um, a lot of people over eight last year and the added weight led to uh, uh, rising incidents or the recent incidents of low back pain we've seen now the job related factor is another thing sitting down you must have heard the term sitting is the new smoking basically that is what we did last year sit down because mm. we're uh, all in yes and so since sitting is a problem um we we're telling we're saying that this year um the effect of that those long hours of sitting that we did now smoking has been shown to reduce blood supply to your disc and to your back mm. there's a high incidence of low back pain among smokers and even children with their backpacks loaded with all the books that they need to read, you mm. see such kids will start to have um, low back pain at a very um, early age. Also, you've got mental health issues. You find out that the tension from having mental health issues, the stress, the, uh, um, the worry of them causes a lot of low back pain. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 144 is uh, where you can the number to call if you want to be a part of our conversation if you've got questions for dr Nkiru, please feel free to you know call that number and mm -hmm. ask those questions away absolutely uh, so and doctor also, yes you want oh, by the way and also do not forget to send us a whatsapp message if you cannot call us up here in the studio uh, send us a whatsapp message to 0809 and also to remind you that we're giving out a free vouchers courtesy ever care hospital to our very first three callers so make sure to call or us up with your questions or text us mm. if you're <laughs> so engage with us here and you stand a chance to win uh, a 10,000 hour worth of voucher courtesy ever care hospital and that goes to your very first consultancy at ever care hospital so call Call us now on 01448-9981. Again, 01448-9981. So, doctor, let's talk about uh, the effects of mobility, right? Mm. So, uh, what does mobility have on the neck and back pain? Because we've talked about the pandemic. We're talking about the pandemic, you know. There were a lot of uh, restricted movements. You know, Judith talked about mattresses. You know, you talked about chairs. Uh, sitting in one position for the longest time. So, what effects do they have? mobility that is now on uh, the neck and also back pain um i will reverse your question to what effect immobility has on the back pain and okay. the reason you need to move so when we sit down and we sit for a certain period of time the muscles are not um, they're in a frozen position they're in one position and then they're not getting as much blood supply as they need and they become stiff okay mm. and that of course leads to pain and also it leads to a lot of pressure on the lumbar spine too that's just the vertebrae the components that i um, described and that is a cause of pain also you find out the effect of posture and for the posture i'll separate the neck from the lower back and when we sit or when most people sit is a slouch posture and you know you sit as you kind of feel to the side and you sit that way for a long period of time putting stress on all of those components that i've mentioned and causing pain the neck is really very important because two terms have been coined for the posture we are all adopting now in front of our laptops one is the text neck and the other one is the tech neck as in technology neck okay and um, for tech neck is when you know sit down forward neck posture and that um concentration and looking at your screen and over time you've strained all the muscles at the back of your of your of your neck and that with time will lead to early degeneration and pain in the neck and then the second one is text neck which is that drop forward head posture that we all have take over time in reading our text messages or even watching movies on our phone and all we do so you you is interesting to note that the neck weighs only about four kilogram when it's or the head weighs four kilogram 
when it's sitting nicely on the head on the neck but once you tilt your neck your head forward the weight of the head increases on the neck and goes up to almost 20 something kilograms so oh, wow. you overloaded it for a long period of time so you you start to have early degeneration the muscles are in spasm you, you're generally overstretching the whole thing and that leads to pain and that is what so many people got to do um, last year and really and still people probably are going, still through. going through yes so that is really the reason why we need to move Okay, well, I like the fact that you mentioned that, but uh, let's quickly talk about a solution just before we head into a break. Um, now, you mentioned that people lean for hours, you know, mm -hmm. but is there like a quick remedy that, you know, people can, uh, you know, draw from, at, you know, because 8 out of 10 people probably do that, right, unconsciously without even knowing it. Mm -hmm. So is there like a quick fix, like a quick remedy o outside the fact that, you know, just leaning back and not, you know, you're not, not doing that particular position? self-awareness is okay. very important because what you're trying to avoid is a long life thing so you need to be aware of your posture um for sitting down please do not sit for more than 30 minutes at a time set an alarm you need to get up from the seat then yes please <laughs> get walk around um, stretch yourself do that and then for your phone if you know you're going to watch a movie for some time please find a way of placing your phone at eye level um hold it up but you just don't put your neck down for that length of um, time um and then please after some time do look left look right tilt your neck up bring it down just do some neck movement get the blood flowing but key to it is please get up and move no matter how expensive your office chair is mm. if you don't get up and move you're still going to have the same problem hmm. <clears throat> we need to take a break here but we do have a message from victor alasa but we're going to come back and take your message as well but you can keep your messages coming on uh, to our whatsapp uh, number so that number is zero eight zero nine four 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 zero nine eight one we have with us dr in q at jibaku from evercare hospital and she's talking to us all about neck and back pain especially now during this new normal stay with us this is smooth health on the drive <laughs> Smooth health on the drive. So Lagos, if you didn't know, now you know. Stay tuned. Smooth health on the drive. So Lagos, if you didn't know, now you know. Stay tuned. Welcome back. This is Smooth Health right here on The Drive. Smooth 98.1. Love music, love life. My name is Judith Ativi. I'm Kyrie Baker. And our guest is Dr. Inku Jubaku from Evercare Hospital. You can be part of the show and send us a WhatsApp message if you have any questions for our doctor today. We're talking about our health. And this time, it's all about our neck and our back and everything else. We're talking the... Rising incidences of back and neck pain post lockdown. To be part of the show, send us a WhatsApp message to zero eight zero nine four 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 zero nine eight one. That's zero eight zero nine four 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 zero nine eight one. We got a message here. This one is from Victor. He says, "I slouch uh, when I drive. When I drive, and I unconsciously bend when I stand. How can I correct this within wearing a without, neck without wearing a neck brace?" without wearing a neck and back brace okay well first of all a neck and back brace is not what you need mm. okay um uh, really if you wear that it restricts movement a lot of times especially if you don't need it in acute case that is fine but um as you were um, for your car i will suggest getting a lumbar rule to put at the back of the seat so that forces you to you know get put yourself upright and find a way of adjusting your car seat so you don't um slouch so much when you're driving and um for your neck um you could try you know, flush yourself against the wall um neck press your neck backwards against the wall the shoulders touching and that keeps you upright the back of the neck touching the shoulders at the back touching and then the back of your heel all flushed against the wall and please step forward you find out that you're completely upright and that is your correct posture hmm. if you practice that in front of a mirror from time to time over time you find out that it comes natural to you 
if you just remember your mom used to say stand up straight chest out don't slouch if you remember that then you're on the right track oh, i have more messages here this is uh Bumi, and it goes hi dr Bumi from alakbere i am i am a boat uh slash uber driver and sometimes i have a back pain and it's becoming chronic after my day's work it's it's terrible sometimes as i have to be behind the wheels for out for about eight hours a day please how can i, I can, how can i help myself i need the funds also and i love my health there's too much of the uh declofenac uh, drugs is it because because i take too much of it because uh, i use it almost every day after my day uh please advise does the drug affect me because i feel better by the next day that's what she's saying and we have more messages here this is godwin a day from igondo and it goes dr inkiru my question is what hap- what 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 is the cause of stiff neck is the pillow the cause of the sleeping or is it pillow the cause or the sleeping pattern that's from godwin Okay, I'll take the first ladies on first. Um, the first Bumi. Th- Bumi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Bumi, really, eight hours a day sitting um, is a no-no. But I do understand you need the funds. Um, taking diclofenac, you're only masking um, something that is going on in that back. I suggest you come in and see us. Um, we will um, assess, find out exactly what is going on and prescribed actually physiotherapy exercises are customized for you mm. so by the time we go through do the assessment and um, complete neurological tests we'll find out what structures are being affected we'll be able to design exercises that you need that will help but i will still suggest you find time to come out from that car and stretch a bit before you know going on on the next trip you will find out helpful but continuously taking diclofenac um, really is not the best please try coming and then we'll see the way will help you it's mm. not sustainable not sustainable yeah. not at all and then what about uh, uh, Godwin Ede with his question about uh, his stiff neck uh, what is the cause of stiff neck is it his pillow or just his sleeping pattern um, sometimes um, your, your pillow dependent there, there's no hard and fast rule to pillows we have to find out what works for you but one thing that is wrong is those high bulky pillows that are hard and tilt your neck to one side throughout the night so as a rule of thumb for most pillows please get something flat that can keep the neck you know your neck completely straight as you're sleeping um over the night mm. that in the morning um could be the cause of back pain if you have a uh, neck pain if you've got a bulky pillow that tilts the neck in a wrong angle um also it will be interesting to know what you do during the day um how you keep your neck during the day how much phone use or screen use or tablet use mm. all that could um, add up to you having a stiff neck the next day mm. all right thank you so much for that this one from mudipo gundeji she says hello uh what does cervical spondylitis mean and how do you reverse it i find i lie down to use my pc with my pc on my lap and neck and my neck propped yeah so yeah you know so that's that and also Sean comes in to say that memory she uses memory pillows. foam pillows okay um, Mudupe, cervical spondylosis is actually degeneration in the spine and sadly we cannot reverse that we cannot reverse degeneration um, so that is why it mm-hmm. is very important to start off now to take care of your neck and your back or your spine or take care of yourself um, in total lying down with your laptop in bed is the wrongest thing you can do please sit down straight um, you can use the dining table and you know sit down properly adjust the laptop in such a way that the top bar is at um, at high le- high level. You can use books to raise your laptop up, so that will help you maintain a good posture. Your n- knees and your hips should be at 90 degrees, and then your pa- your um, sh- your elbow completely by your side, resting on the table, and then you can do your work. And don't forget to stand up at intervals, 30 minutes at most, and then um, walk around. Um, memory forms well depending on how flat it is if it's the wrong shape for you in as much as it's made from memory phone it's still not going to do the, the work so um the posture matters and not the not not the pillow or the the, the the mattress and all of that we need to be sure we're doing the right thing all right thank you so much for that let's talk about you know uh some of the other questions here um for many people out there the nature of their jobs most times you require that they sit you know or stand at a spot for a long time so 
like you've mentioned, some techniques. Are there other techniques or exercises that one can do to prevent back and neck pains? Um, well, back exercises, like I mentioned, are actually customized. Um, but um, on this, I will still reiterate on standing up. So um, you could stand up, try stretch out and stretch backwards if that doesn't cause you pain or lean forward a bit and twist yourself from side to side a few times. That will help to ease out, you know, the, the, the tightness in the body. And you can also side, try some hamstring stretches, which is the muscle at the back of the legs. Mm. And so oh, I love the stretches. It's so refreshing. <laughs> If you um, if you place your heel on a higher surface and just lean forward gently, oh, it feels really that will good. stretch out the muscles at the back of the legs and the glute muscles too. So yeah. those little things could help you um, if you have to sit for a while and then when you get up, the little stretches you need. All right, we do have a call here. Let's see who this is. Hello. 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 Um, good evening. Yeah, my name is Smooth FM. Yes, this is Smooth right. FM. Okay, my name is Maybe. Um, I wanted to ask. Okay, maybe. I, I, maybe. I usually wake up with uh, back pain. Now, I know people will say, okay, get an orthopedic mattress and whatnot, but in case the funds are not available to get that right now, what can someone do mm. in the meantime to deal with that? That's, Thanks, that's Maybe. Thank you for that question, Maybe. Um, thank you, maybe. So um, it's not just the mattress. I mean, it's difficult to um, deal with it as an isolated waking up with back pain. So I would love to know how many hours do you sit the previous day? What, what form of exercises do you do? Um, how do you, what, how, what position do you sleep in? Are you um, a back facing up position, which is not the best? Are you a sideline position person? So that's where the comprehensive um, assessment of the patient comes in because they just might be something you're doing the previous day that is causing you to wake up stiff or to wake the back um, being stiff the next day mm. so but what i will advise in as much as you don't have money for the memory the um, orthopedic uh, ma uh, mattress, mattress if your mattress is um, the kind that when you lie down it really deep so it cannot take the body of your weight anymore you've had it for so many years then it might be time to start to think of investing in a new mattress and a good one at mm. that um, that type of mattress can cause you that pain but that might not be the only reason why you're having stiffness so it would be good to have a whole picture of what's going on and we'll be able to tackle it all right hello, hello. good evening Good evening. Good evening. Your name, where are you calling us from, please? My name is Wale. I'm calling from Ajao Estate. Wale from Ajao. Wale, go ahead. I'm sure you have questions for Dr. Nkiru. Yes, um, Dr. Nkiru, thank you very much for the lectures, and I'm really, really happy for the information I got this evening. Um, I just wanted to ask, um, I've been having back pain for five years. Five years? Yes, sir, for wow. five years. I'm, actually, I work in the office where I sit for... Eight to seven, eight to nine hours every day. Okay. Wow. So, having the diagnosis of having a lumbar spondylosis, and um, I've done physiotherapy, I've had epidural steroid injection, but I'm still having this pain. So, and the kind of pain I'm having is that each time I stand, each time I bend over, I'm better. But each time I stretch my back, I'm having serious pain, referring to my leg. And the usual thing is actually like when they say don't bend over. For mine, if I bend over, bend over, I'm better. So I'm, I'm actually confused because I've had epidural injection, I've had um, physiotherapy, I use drugs, but the pain is still there. So I don't know what's actually causing. I don't know the next step. Well, actually, they said I should do surgery, but I think I'm too young for surgery. So I'm just 30. Oh my God! Okay, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for calling, w Wale. Um, Doctor. Doctor. Yeah. Thank you, Wale. I mean, I'm so sad to hear you've been having back pain for about five years now. Um, yes, lumbar spondylosis. Um, you see that a lot in people's reports, which really refers to degeneration or arthritis in the spine. So it's really not specific. But from what you've described, um, some people's back pain will have direction of movement that um, will help to to take decide the exercises they need to do. Um, I wish I could speak with your physiotherapist to find out exactly what was done with you. But from what you've described, it appears you will need a lot of flexion-based exercises. Um, and um, that kind of exercise will help to relieve your pain. Also, 
there are things called core strengthening exercises, which is to strengthen the core muscles. I'm not referring to just your abdominal muscles. Mm. There are also muscles in the back, the back extensors. Those muscles need to be core, need to be strong, and that is the muscle or those muscles. Um, they are the basis for all the movements. And if those muscles are not strong, you st- you, c- you can have back problem for a very long time. There are also lumbar stabilization ex- exercises that you need to be thought. So I'm not sure how much of those you did when you were having physiotherapy, but I'm sure if that was done properly, you will have some relief from your pain. It might it will not cure the pain totally, but what we aim to do at Evercare with our physiotherapy is we teach you how to manage this pain. It cannot be reversed, but you will be your own manager of pain. You will only come back to us when you feel, okay, I need to be reviewed or something. If you're able to learn your lumbar stabilization exercises, your flexion-based exercises, your correct posture, and the lifestyle changes you need to make, I believe you'll be able to uh, manage your back pain better without using a lot of uh, medications. Mm. Thank you very much for that. Let's talk about facilities now, right? So at Evercare, um, you know, uh, let's talk about the kind of facilities that you have that's available for diagnosing back and neck pain and uh, how you go about them. And just walk us through the process of it. Okay, so um, you can all either come in, walk in, patients for, you know, you have back pain, you walk in, you can say, okay, I'd like to see a physiotherapist or some people come through the doctor or come through the doctors um, or any doctor's referral from outside the hospital. All of that is accepted. So when you come in, we'll take a very detailed uh, medical history, your first appointment, that is what is going to be about. Medical history, you have to bear in mind that not all back pain um, is caused by components in the back. You could be having referred pain from internal organs and you know it could be kidney stone it could be something else so that medical um, um, history will be, will be able to tell if there are red flags we need to look out for once we are sure it's only the spine that is causing that pain and is a non-spinal cause of pain then we proceed with a physical examination and that is finding out exactly the structures um, that's going on a lot of neurological tests um, that will help us to determine the kind of exercises. If need be, we could refer the patient to do an MRI or a CT uh, um, or an X-ray. That again will help to create a clearer picture of what is going on in the back and rule out any other sinister um, um, causes of pain. Um, after that, we design your exercises. Then we've got different modalities that can be used, and we've actually got well, we have a fully set up rehabilitation gym for all the exercises mm. that the patient needs to go through. Through. So the first session is usually all about assessment, finding out what it is. Once diagnosis really solves most of the problems because that way you know exactly what you're doing and you'll be able to make more impacts in the person or with the person. Subsequently, you're going to have a few sessions of physiotherapy with home programs that you're going to be doing yourself and then and we have a review after a while. That's Doctor, it. so we're pretty much out of time, but I'm just going to ask you this right this last question. Uh, are we aware that you know that they are you know because they are different you know specialties in medicine, and we're very much aware of this. But do you have different specialties in a physiotherapy uh, profession as well? Oh yes, we have physiotherapists specializing in different aspects. Um, um, so oncology, you have physiotherapists in oncology, and in Evercare we do that. Women's health, w- pregnant women that are having back pain, um, you know people that um, the normal ones we know stroke patients orthopedic patients um so there are various as far as there's a patient in any part of the hospital you will find a physiotherapist doing work there and so there are specialties all across all the um uh, medical specialties or mm. physiotherapists all across the medical specialties we have tons of messages here this is uh in them from lucky and it goes please what is the doctor's advice for a chef that have to stand for many hours a day what occupational health advice can you give him also let's quickly rush through the messages throughout the time mm-hmm. this one here from Mudupa once again says uh, hello again how uh, okay how much does it cost the middle class and lower class and can we afford it at Evercare I'm sure you can but we're going to let the doctor address that at the end of the show mm-hmm. and also this is uh, uh, Lady B she goes good evening Dr. Nkiru what uh, please what causes hip joint pains mostly when you hear cracking sound when you try to stand up straight from bending mm-hmm. after bending that's what she says 
Okay, thank you. For the chef standing, I will advise that from time to time you place one leg on a higher surface. Mm. That will relieve the tension in the back and give you a bit of spinal flexion and then um, some stretches as you go along. But standing, if there's nowhere to um, play the, place your foot on, you could just lift and place against the wall somewhere. That will, you know, give you some relaxation in your spine and relieve the pain. Cost. Oh, yes, please. We are quite affordable. We have actually made our prices to be comparable to every other physiotherapy and um, clinic around us so um it's not a problem for you at all please come in and you see for yourself hip joint pain and cracking noise i will it will be um it will be difficult i would like to find out how heavy you weigh or how um, big you are to and then how old you are so you'll be able to relate what is going on is is he an old woman that is having the hip joint is it a young person and there's so many other causes of hip joint um, pain so is there um, is the person a sickler is there a problem with blood supply to the um, to the head of the female so it's really difficult to just answer without seeing the patient and finding out what the risk or what the problem is going on with the person and carrying out an assessment all, all right. right thank Doctor, you so much, thank you so much for Doctor. coming in but before we let you go how can we get in touch with you and evercare hospital so sorry you're sweating yes <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, Evercare Hospital at uh, website where number one Admiralty Way, Stroke, Bisola, Durasini, Etty Drive, Lekki Peninsula Scheme One. So once you come in through the Lekki First Gate, you will see us is the big structure on the right. You can miss up with Evercare written boldly at the top. Website is very easy www.evercare.ng or you could please call us on 081. Three nine eight five zero seven one zero, and if I can repeat that again, is zero one eight three nine eight five zero seven one eight. Email is info at evercare dot ng. Thank nice. you so much, doctor. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in if today. If you joined us late, mm. oh, you missed a lot. We talked about the rising incidences of back and neck pain. We hope you got down that number. So make sure that you visit them at Evercare Hospital. Uh, you know to get uh, all the details sorted concerning all that's uh, affecting you now don't forget you can reach out to them across all social media platforms but more importantly visit their website it's www.evercare.ng and also send an email to info at evercare.ng as well as call them up on 0813 985 that's 0813 985 that's www.evercare.ng doctor thank you for coming in thank you julia thank All you for right. having me okay let's go let's go on and uh, move on to more nice things on the show today. that's right and that, i'm talking about music and also a giveaway coming up inside the seven o'clock hour stay with us smooth health on the drive it's a global observation that helps raise people's awareness every thursday at 5 15 p.m if you didn't know now you know powered by evercare hospital lecky transforming healthcare in nigeria